nearly we passed 2021 and it's a challenging year for all of us. And I would like to, yeah, so uh, my admiration with your um, efforts to, to create with such a wonderful event. While all of us had been affected in personal and business lives, the education industry has been hit particularly hard with the health crisis. The periodic lockdowns forced by the emergence of new variants, the accompanying restrictions on travel and social gatherings, key elements of education system have created many new issues for education industry. Both challenges hit hard our networks of student and academic exchange, as well as ability to collaborate across border and to develop joint multinational projects. We travels did painfully underline both old a new issue of challenges that are plaguing the education system of the 21st century. While it is indeed our global education aspiration, SDG number four, to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all, this global crisis has shown our capacity to be venting. Strain on the education system had set back the effort to achieve the goal world had agreed on. Currently, there is simply no sufficient global capacity and not a robust and efficient enough system to deliver on this goal using the existing education system as it is. Thus, it is our duty as industry leaders to adapt and innovate, to face the challenges ahead on the deliver on our global responsibility. The key point here I have derived and would like to underline is that the only way we as educators can face our collective responsibility and connect academics and students across the globe is through joint effort and bold movement forward. The development of an international free flowing education system and innovative technologies are the bedrock on which the education of 21st century will rest. It is with this vision and understanding in our hearts and minds that we should look for ways to improve the develop based on the personal experience and observing global performance under pressure. To put it simply, it is indeed the same problem we face in education as we face everywhere in the modern globalized world. Supply chain. Supply chain, in this case, supply chain of knowledge. It is, turns out knowledge and competence are a sticky, a sticky subject, requiring often heroic efforts to move across borders and continents at best of times. Fortunately, in 21st century, we have the tools and capacities and capabilities to streamline the process of information transfer and verification to deliver effective and efficient education around the globe. To begin with, when I try to visualize an universal delivery system for quality, accessible and affordable higher education and lifelong learning, I cannot see it apart from the internet. The global net is what offers us the capability to both reach under underutilized talent and to cut down on the material and human expenses on knowledge transfer. E-education has the potential to connect students and lecturers the world over, including in hard reaching regions with little to no existence educational infrastructure. Well-designed classes and information maintained they presence online for years, delivering content to the millions of users with little to no additional costs. Furthermore, this approach opens up venues for previously unknown talents, which has a chance to deliver their values to the market directly without using the intervening costly processes through association with existing educational institutions across borders and distances. One obstacle to this lack of internet connection is on the cusp of being sold through the Starlink global satellite internet. More importantly, Starlink shows us the direction internet the industry is going, reaching all around the world the quality satellite networks. Furthermore, computers continue miniaturizing, producing handheld affordable devices that can be used to reach internet and educational resources wherein even from poor regions of the globe. On the other hand, we face the question of quality of in current abundance of online educational resources, vulnerable for cyber attacks and disinformation campaigns. It is of utmost importance to develop common 
understandable and commonly beneficial standards of quality educational materials across the board. Timely self-regulation for the industry is a key if we do not wish to have a rush it later. Common independent standards of quality will allow us to develop competency-based education where certifications can be developed by otherwise independent actors and would allow easy transfer of credits across the industry with common standards. Easy transfer of credits is a key for increasing the flow of resources and information across the sector and development of microcredit system, which would allow institutions and students appreciatively mobility and freedom to interact and adapt at moment of notice. However, to maintain the student engagement in such a mobile system require for our part to deliver both tools and outstanding content that would appreciate it and desired in such a competitive medium. But development of engaging educational materials is only one of the steps. And our bank with difficulty of maintaining the quality of academic integrity in online based system, we are cheating and third party assistance are rife. Ensuring quality and integrity in e-education is a problem with specialized industry e-education providers like Turnitin as well as individual institutions are struggling with uh, as specialized cheating companies and third party assistance hotlines are cropping up with increasing frequency. I am proud to remark what my home institution, Caucasus University is also working on a challenge, developing and adapting modern academic integrity and anti-plagiarism systems. However, there's another side to the situation. While efficient and extremely cost-effective online education simply is not able to provide same face-to-face -face engagement and mentorship experience as the old style classroom interaction, which leads us to the development of the hybrid education system, which still does not elevate the issues I have already listed. Fortunately, during the last couple of years, I have had closer interaction with innovation and IT industries and have seen the efficient, effective model of education we have developed. Short-term, super intense boot camps used to complement self-study and online engagement can be used effectively, effectively to squeeze months of effort into weeks for suitable subjects. Due to shorter in time frames and correspondingly lower costs, boot camps can be used to complement e-education for more intense face-to-face -face experience. Such complementary system offers way to deal both with limited resources and with outside interactions due to reduce costs and shrink risk windows. Before I finish all, I would like to remark what even as I have listed the possible, possible solutions to some of the challenges facing in the education industry, where the prerequisite, prerequisite to all aforementioned measures, increase cross-border cooperation and mobility among both academics and students. Higher the border fence get, higher are the costs in both human and time resources to move knowledge and expertise across. While online education all elevates some of these barriers, there's a little it can be bridge face-to-face -face interaction. Today, with world increasingly shrinking and pressing issues of global importance like a climate change, which requires immense intellectual capabilities around the globe, we simply have no luxury to go back to isolationist attitude. Joint hands and joint minds are the only thing that can answer the challenges future throws at us. Dear colleagues, to summarize, I would like to say that despite the difficulties in front of us, I'm optimistic. With joint effort and motivation to embrace with new methods and technologies, the future of global education is bright. We shall strive to unite the educational networks across the globe while making it more accessible for both education providers and students. Once again, the internationalization, democratization, democratization and technological development are the keys to the future. I am looking forward to the new development through our joint efforts. Thank you very much and thank you for your attention.